started back when I was in high school. I uh, did voluntary work for a local TV station. I had a variety of positions, which was cameraman, did a lot of grip work, gaffer work, and I actually also did a lot of interviews in front of the camera as well. So um, from there, I knew that's what I wanted to do. It just got to where, where I'm at now, to where I relocated in life and, and got here and finally had the opportunity to come to a school, which was this particular one that I found online. And from there, I just did my research and boom, here I am. Hello, my name is Ronnie E. Rodriguez, and I graduated from the film and video program at the first school. Since I graduated, I've been doing freelance work for a couple of production companies. I've been just kind of uh, learning the field as I go. It's not an easy task for a lot of people out there that want to know because I know that probably they think that they, since they graduate now they think they're going to be you know, big timers. It takes time and patience. Uh, you have to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. So, you know, even though you did a lot of intern work as you was in school, uh, you're probably going to continue to be doing a lot of intern work while you graduate from school, but that's going to be experience for you to learn as you go along. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm learning, but at the same time, I'm working, so it's, it's helping me out. So it's basically where I'm at right now. Being a PA on particular sets uh, include gaffer, grip, and as far as gaffing and grip, which is dealing with the equipment to set up for lighting, setting up all the uh, sets as far as how they want it set up, assisting if I'm not the cameraman, assisting the cameraman. If I am the camera operator, then also on top of that, going whatever the director wants me to do as far as what kind of composition shots. So it's, it's a broad thing you know, a PA does. I think that people shouldn't be limited. They should go ahead and be proficient in one particular field, but at the same time learn it all because that's gonna help them in the long run, so. The advice I have for students uh, that are gonna be graduating from the school and while they're in the school, is to be motivated. Make sure this is a passion for you, not a job, because um, in the long run, it's gonna pay off. I think your work shows it all, and if you have a passion for it, it's, it's just gonna come fluently to work harder, to uh, do your best at it, instead of uh, thinking it's just a nine to five job. So it's kind of, your motivation will be there if you have a passion for this field. If you don't have it, then this basically won't be something for you. So be passionate, also be humble. Do basically what you're told, because like I said before, you have to start from the bottom and don't think you know it all. If you have questions, probably ask somebody on the side, you know, be polite, uh, be friendly, be outgoing at the same time, but you know, work hard. And I think that's what they're looking for out there. And, and basically that's what I do when I get on set. I basically do it all. And when I say I do it all, it means that it's because I'm a camera operator doesn't mean that I can assist in the grip. And just because I'm in the grip doesn't mean I cannot assist in the gaffing. So, you know, if I see someone needs help, I'll go over and help them out. And I will expect likewise for them to do the same with me. So, you know, be passionate about your work. And uh, I think that's gonna get you longer, you know.